I'm a professional. Y'all are gonna miss this so much. Y'all are just gonna... <laughs> Y'all are gonna yearn for the days of my technical issues. All right, we're so back. Nothing happened. All right, for the YouTube VOD, pretend everything went flawlessly, okay? Looking for birds, sad. Oh, we did get the camo. We are looking for birds. That is sad. Let's all talk shit about Shlee since she can't hear us. All right, you start. <laughs> no, you start. All right. Let's go find this damn cardinal. Am I already wearing the... Okay, I guess I am already wearing the... Where, where'd the camera go then? Oh, no, I'm holding it. Okay. I think I'm wearing the camo. <laughs> we should check on Not Lizzie before I leave. I don't want to be held responsible for that. All right, we gotta find... There's a cardinal somewhere. Nope. Not here. It's always the same path that I get stuck on. <sighs> Exhausting. Oh. Gotcha. Pick the pick. Okay, what other bird do we need to get? I know we need to get the hawk. And I remember how we get that, but I don't think we get that in the wood. What bird are we missing? I think there's an orange one. Yeah. Can we look at them? Hmm. I might look up the bird location just so we're not. Can you pull up the map? That's also true. Blue bird, orange bird. Right. Okay. We have to get past the yellow ribbon. I think we already got the yellow bird. Hmm. I wish I could look at the pictures and see which ones we already got. I'm pretty sure Hotchkiss is right that it's the orange one we need. Okay. Where are we? Um, log. Fallen tree. Log. Log. Okay. And then the yellow ribbon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I hate this path specifically. Oh. Take the picture. Okay. Okay. So I think we need to ask Red Scott about the last bird, maybe? Because I think it's not in the um, woods, if I do recall correctly. And I usually do. I'm usually never wrong when it comes to Nancy Drew. Doop, doop, doop. I know the, the creators for Palestine Stream, um, it's amazing how much they were able to fundraise. Someone named Mark, we don't know Mark who, Someone named Mark donated over $200,000 to that. Just one guy named Mark. And we were trying to guess who, like, Mark who? Um, and I don't want to say my guesses because I don't, I don't know. But also, like, a bunch of individual people also contributed to that. 
a lot. It's incredible. <laughs> Definitely, I would say not Mark Zuckerberg. I would say pr odds are it's not Mark Zuckerberg. But we love Mark um, and everyone else who donated. It's really, it's really incredible. So whoever that, that rich, rich Mark is, we stand. Yeah, Mark Breen. We love. Any other marks we have in the chat? Stand up. Uh, remember when I thought meme's name was Mark? <laughs> remember when I thought meme's name was Mark? And they were like, don't ever call me that again. How's the bird watching coming along? I just can't seem to find a red tailed hawk. Any suggestions? Well, there's got to be lots around here. You haven't been going around wearing sunglasses and earmuffs, have you? No, Red, I haven't. Well, according to my I miss bird, when Nancy was sassy. Make Nancy sassy again. Just to the southwest of the Malone house. I suggest you park yourself nearby and wait. Bound to spot one sooner or later. See you in a while. Watch yourself out there. <laughs> I can barely hear him over the chirp chirp chirp. Not mark me as excited for some ghost dogs. <laughs> I'm being bullied. Help. It's like elementary school all over again. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my life every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How does it feel? <laughs> I really wish we saw the dogs more often. Then it... For a game called Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake, there sure are not a whole lot of ghost dogs. Can I just say? Can I just say? What am I insinuating, Shalee? Nothing, nothing but love and light. I don't see any hawks, but this is probably the tree Red was talking about. At least it was the tree. <laughs> that sounded like a hawk. I need a camera. Oh, I guess. Enhance. Hey, That's a hawk. What is that hawk standing on? Oh? Oh, that looks like a spear. <gasps> uh. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh god. <gasps> Whoa. My arms and legs are tied. Nancy I hand know. reveal. At least I can kick. If I could just get that scythe down, I could use the blade to cut the rope around my wrists and free my hands. That is a crazy plan. Let's go. Her mind. Yeah, let the gas out. Oh. Now this is fun. Oh. Oh, I did it! Wait, I, I, I didn't even. Just let this thing burn up. I've got it. I can't just let this. Aw, I missed the chance to burn out. Nancy alive. Fire. I was too good. I was just fucking around. Fire! Fire! What's that? Fire! Fire! Me and empath sensing there might be fire. take my time you can't rush these things you know you got to protect your peace doop, doop, doop. god i'm on the edge of my seat right now what in blazes happened i saw the fire from my platform and came running you weren't in there playing with matches were you I was looking at birds, and then I noticed something on the house. He was stalking us, as usual. I, knew, I was locked in the tool shed, and somebody was setting it on fire. Whoa, you're not making much sense. Whoa. Probably smoke inhalation or something. Come talk to me after you've cleaned the gaslighting. Gotten some sleep. I need to tell you something. Somebody tried to kill you? I didn't say that. Somebody knocked you out, 
locked you in a shed, set it on fire, and you think they were, what, just pulling a prank? A pretty epic prank. I smell the hostile vibes, Nancy. I guess it's just hard for me to believe that anybody would consider me to be that big a threat. I should have never let you stay there by yourself. Probably. Sally, I'm fine. I feel bad about your tool shed, though. <laughs> not, not the tool shed. It was full of junk anyway. I'm glad to be rid of it. That's kind of the way Ranger Akers saw it, too. He showed up right after the bird watcher did and ticketed me for burning refuse in a manner that endangered park property. Good for him. Uh, that man is insufferable. Emily was nice, though. She came by right afterwards and wouldn't leave until I drank the tea she made for me. Oh my god, she's poisoning us. One more time. If you want to leave, just say the word and I'll come get you. Sally, one more time. I'm fine. Well, then promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. I'll be in touch. You better. Hi, Cautious Meow. Just got out of jury selection. I was not p selected. Boop, boop, boop. That's always a fun time. I keep saying, I... I know it's wildly inconvenient. I do want to serve on a jury just once. Pick me. Choose me. Love me. Everybody else doesn't want to serve on a jury. I... I was made for it. I want to hear about people's drama for a couple weeks. That's insane behavior? Perhaps. Are you not allowed to if you're a lawyer? No, there's no rule against it. Actually, I know um, a lot of lawyers I knew served on juries, especially in Baltimore, because there's the federal courthouse and like the city courthouse. So there, and there's just like a lot of trials in Baltimore. So yeah. Nothing stopping ya. But the... I did get, um, I did have to go to jury selection once, but I just sat there. I didn't even get to, like, the interviewing portion. I just sat in a waiting room and then they didn't need me. Not very exciting. And it was actually, um, it was supposed to be my first day of work as a lawyer. So I had, like, taken the bar and was just about to start and then I was just like, oops, sorry, can't actually start until tomorrow and hopefully won't get selected. I actually didn't want to get selected that time because... <laughs> I didn't want to set a bad impression, and I also wanted to start getting paid. Uh, there you go. That's my story. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. If I was fully honest, I would never be selected for a criminal jury because I don't trust a word cops say. Oh, me too. Uh, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think lawyers would honestly want to deal with me. I think I would be a nuisance, but they don't need to know that. <laughs> what are they going to do? Google me? How do I get to the museum? Just up Lake from Sally's on the east side. We, we've fully been there, Nancy. These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Oh my god, it should be. Do y'all ever watch um, grave cleaning TikToks? Grave cleaning TikToks? First of all, get into it. I love a good grave cleaning TikTok. Imagine you're called for jury duty again, but during jury selection, they just pull up your YouTube channel and use that to determine if you should be selected. Well, that's just them doing their research. I don't think they put that much... Not to discredit the lawyers, I don't think they put that much time and effort into the jury selection. I don't think they're Googling... I never dealt with jury selection, so I'm not speaking from experience or expertise here. Um, I don't think they're Googling the jurors. But who knows? Maybe they are. My mom was an attorney and always was able to get exempted from jury duty if she got called because she knew too much. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, if I... If I knew one of the lawyers involved in the case or something like that, then I definitely couldn't serve on the jury. Um, but I don't know. I'm pretty antisocial. <laughs> Good news. I, I have wh one day. My time will come. You are incredible, Ranger Acres. What did you find out? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas. and her Okay, Vivian Whitmore. To five 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 nine one three seven. Where is the hound? It's like Tanya Burr. Where's Yogi? In the run, out back. 
Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. Yeah, we love Jarvis Johnson over here. I think it's also the overlap might be from his Bachelor content. Bring back Jarvis's Bachelor content. Have you gotten the results back from that water sample I left with you? I meant to call the Department of Health today for a status report, but frankly, I've been way too busy. That's okay. I'll just keep drinking lead water and see what happens. Sounds like Moon Lake could use two rangers. If I were in charge of just ten... Oh, Keith McBeef, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And I could devote more time to the acquisition. You of you more missed land some exciting action. Moon Lake on the map is one of the biggest, most popular parks in the state. Then maybe these ghost dogs are. Hmm. Then maybe you train ghost dogs mean? to attack my house. Ghost dogs scare Sally away for good. Other people are bad. Nancy's so subtle. About buying the place, the bank will lower its price. No, Madison, that's definitely not your fault. That's my fault. Insinuating things again. I should have put that in the chat too. Sorry to everyone. Technical difficulties today. I didn't mean to insult you. In fact, is there anything I can do to help you out? Nancy you definitely meant to insult him. Serious about making a mess. Did I miss the ghost dogs? No. Boxes, you didn't miss ghost dogs. Dates. Nancy did get hit over the head. Hit over the head. <laughs> she kept everything from newspaper <laughs> She was tied up and photos, stuffed in a burning shed, but we're done with that. Apple crisp. She put everything in envelopes. But we're done with that. Then numbered them by year using Roman numerals. Just put the envelopes in order by year with the earliest date in, in the head. Oh, and if you're rusty on Roman numerals, there's an entry on them in the computer. Well, let's see how many Roman numerals I remember. You do use Roman numerals quite frequently in law school. Okay, if I read what's in the envelope. Let's see. Test my Roman numeral knowledge. Until you're through, or take my word for it, you'll never get finished. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. I love this music. Let's see. Let's see. Jeff said the envelope with the oh. goes down in the I don't read Roman Roman numerals this big. Boop 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 boop. Do 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 do. Yeah. Mods help. Help! <laughs> Thank you, Blue Star. All right. Well, we have the internet now, so I'm just gonna Google what Roman numerals are. Do do do. Ghost dogs. Boo Do do do. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Okay, M C M X I. M C M X. Oh, there we go. M C M X. M C M V I I. C N I V M C M. N I X A X. C M and M C M. X M C M X B which M okay wait whoops okay uh M C M X I V that's right M C M X I I M C M Men cucking men, MCM XLV, MCM XLI, MCM XXXIX, MCM XXXII, MCM XXV. Now that they're all sorted, I can there do some go. reading. Let's read, shall we? And I'm not going to read any of it, just to make y'all angry. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll read some of it. Uh, Dragging ban, not the the drag ban in Moon Lake. Not the drag ban in Moon Lake. There's gold in that bar sandbars. At least that's been the experience of Emily Griffin, owner of M's Emporium on Moon Lake in central Pennsylvania. For the past 10 years, she has been dragging a heavy net back and forth along the bottom of the lake. Women need to have hobbies. Women's stories matter. 
uh, uncovering and bringing to the surface relics from the... Oh. Oh. And I guess that's all we... No. I've dredged up everything from diamond tiaras to skeleton keys to full bottles of French cognac, and it's still good. And she's selling it all on Depop. It just blows my mind what those people would drop back then and never bother going back for. She was referring to the wealthy guests of gangster Mickey Malone, who built a home on the lake in 1925 and threw large, ruckus parties almost every weekend. Because his guests would travel to and from the house by boat, personal items were lost overboard with great frequency. Miss Griffin estimates that she has made close to $20,000- Oh my god! Now that's a side hustle. To antique hunters and tourists, but last week her windfall came to an end. The county in which Moon Lake is located passed an ordinance making the recovery of objects from the lake bed illegal. The ban arose from the fact that the bottom of the lake is composed of unusually fine sand. When disturbed, it clouds the water, sometimes for days, posing a threat to aquatic plants and fish that otherwise thrive there. Park Ranger Jeff Akers, the woke mob who oversees the state park surrounding the lake, initiated the ban. The eco-balance of Moon Lake is simply too delicate to ignore. Slay. But Miss Griffin begs to differ. The whole thing's just plum ridiculous, she says. You know what all that stuff down there is doing right now? It's rusting, rotting water, polluting the water. The girls are fighting. And 20k was a lot then, too, you're right. Let's see. Oh, and this one? What we got? The Belfont Star. Oh, what? Okay, Ph Philadelphia mobster dies in Leavenworth. Michael Mickey Malone died yesterday of liver failure in the federal penitentiary at Leavenworth, Kansas at the age of 52. Born in Newark, New Jersey in 1889. Oh my god, a hundred years before Taylor Swift. That's so crazy. Malone owned and operated Philadelphia Duds and Suds, a chain of laundromats and dry cleaners that allowed him to disguise and disperse the money he made as a racketeer. Oh my gosh, not Lizzie's here. Aw, thank you. That's very sweet, not Lizzie. Glad you're, do you're alive and well. <laughs> Compared to other gangsters, Malone kept a relatively low profile. His desire for privacy was encouraged by four large dogs who never left his side. Although he was rumored to be involved in everything from rum running to gold heists, he never spent a single night in jail until he was arrested in 1932 for tax evasion. It's always tax evasion, isn't it? He was convicted for the following year and was sentenced to eight years in federal prison. He died just two months before he was scheduled to be released. Tragic. Oh. This one? Gangster nabbed at Moon Lake residence. Mickey Malone arrested right at his luxurious Moon Lake property. Mickey Malone, a Philadelphia businessman long considered by police to be a bootlegger and racketeer, finally felt the sting of the sword of justice. <laughs> All right, let's not get too crazy. When he was arrested this morning at his house in Moon Lake. Now, who is she? Gangster Mickey Malone in pajamas being led away. Thank you for clarifying. Careful to keep Malone's attack dogs at bay, agents from the Internal Revenue Service and the Department of Justice raided the lakefront home at dawn, catching Malone and his henchmen completely by surprise. Within seconds, Malone was handcuffed, wearing only an overcoat over his pajamas. He was swept out the door and into a waiting car. He was driven directly to Philadelphia, where he was jailed on charges of tax evasion and conspiracy to violate prohibition laws. Well, those are both some L charges, may I just say. He did nothing wrong. The police have been wise to Malone's criminal activities for years, but three previous attempts to incarcerate him failed miserably when Malone's shadowy associates, through bribes and threats, forced prosecution witnesses to recant their stories. This time, federal agents intend to rely on ledgers and tax returns to prove their case. Since 1927, when it was determined that even income gained through illegal means is taxable. I, first of all, can I just say, I love that rule, by the way. I love that the IRS to this day has a form you can fill out to declare taxes on money you earned illegally. I want to know what... <laughs> I want to know what drug dealer has pristine tax paperwork. F fills it out with their accountant every year. You know, it's honest work. And the government wants in on that honest work. Incredible. Incredible rule. Mickey Malone's been making us look like a fool for a long time, declared Bureau of Investigations Agent Waldo Matthias. Or Matthias? 
but but today the good good guys finally get the last laugh. Malone loudly and repeatedly proclaimed that he'd done nothing wrong as he was led to jail. However, his prote protestations of innocence ended abruptly when, apparently not wise to being photographed in his pajamas, Malone took a swing at a press photographer. He was quickly subdued. Wow, Slay. All right, what else? What else we got? Where do you read this? Is a gangster about to become Moon Lake's newest resident? This is not in chronological order at all. Rumors are flying thick and fast that make me Malone, a self-proclaimed captain of industry with far more ties to gamblers and smugglers than a legitimate businessman, is building a house on the north shore of Moon Lake. The rumors started last June, when the 10-acre property on which the house is being built was purchased by Philadelphia Duds and Suds, a company owned by Malone, which is widely believed to be merely a front for his criminal undertakings. Could people just openly publish stuff like this, like accusing people of being a money launderer back in the day? I guess so. Secrecy has shrouded the the project ever since construction began in October of last year. Four men in a locked gate block the driveway leading to the site. Unauthorized persons and vehicles are sum summarily turned away. Day and night, security guards patrol the heavily wooded lakefront property. Several large trucks, strategically parked, obscure any and all views of the site from the water. Even the workmen have been sworn to silence. When asked if Mickey Malone was indeed building a home on, on Moon Lake, Waldo Matias, the agent spearheading the Department of Justice investigation of Malone's activities, had only this to say. If he is, I suggest he live it up while he can, because the place we're going to be sending him to ain't no, on no beach, and he's going to be there for a real long time. Mr. Malone could not be reached for comment. Suds and Duds would make a good nightclub, a gay nightclub name. Absolutely. All right, is there anything else we need to read? Because I'm, uh, that's, that's more reading than, I'm doing that just because I'm going on vacation. I did that for y'all. I did that for y'all. Boom. All right. Now, now will you see if my water is being poisoned, sir? I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, you're welcome. I've got something for you. Ah, <gasps> is it a kiss? Chances are, it isn't a paycheck. Oh my God, no. Nancy, you're it's rich. It's an honorary Junior Park Ranger pin. I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit. And Argofump doesn't like this guy. Unfortunately, I don't get to give them out that often. Oh my God, gee, thanks, I'm in love. Ranger Acres. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Your appreciation, Nancy, would be a little bit more. Could be a little bit more. My God. Do 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 do. Anyways, let me actually look at this again. Cause I was reading it out and I wasn't actually able to pay attention to stuff. So I think we need to know the year he was arrested. 1932. I believe. Okay. And off we go. If you say it's widely believed that Bob is stinky to defend from defamation suit, do you have to prove that Bob is stinky or just that it many people already believe he was stinky? Well, stinky is a subjective term. Defamation really only applies when you're like, especially in America. I'm speaking more loosely here because also I have not worked on a defamation case. Defamation is really um, when you're like accusing someone of being a criminal. Uh, Ragnarok, thank you for the nine months. There's specific categories. Um, accusing people, like publicly saying that someone has um, some sort of, there's a specific term but basically implying that someone has an STD, like HIV or AIDS, is can be defamation. Um, I think accusing someone of having an affair can be defamation. Uh, committing a crime. And there's a fourth category I'm forgetting. Um, maybe it's like a catch-all, like, would prevent them from getting a job or something. And it's clearly not an opinion. I'm messing up. I'm totally blanking on, like, the actual standards applied. But you can say someone's stinky all, all day long, because this is America. Is it defamation to say that many people believe that X has committed crimes? Um, 
generally speaking, probably no. But again, I, I didn't even get to study free speech law in my torts class because we ran out of time. So I, I literally only studied it for the bar. And that was like one portion of everything I was studying for eight weeks. So didn't retain a whole lot. Probably one of the areas of the law I know the least about, let's just say. <laughs> All right, thanks for the legal advice. I will rely on it. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. If you're selling something, hang up right now. I got an air horn in my hand that could deafen a dinosaur, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, no, no, please. I'm not selling anything. Believe me. Is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. This is how I should answer phone calls from now on. To state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call, but you have to talk fast. An old Do y'all think this woman is straight too? No, this woman's bise bisexual. Her name is Vivian. Old, as in five years older than I am. Don't bother trying to do the math, sweet stuff. You'll hurt yourself. So, that ranger fella said you found an old picture of me. It was of you and Mickey Malone. Do you remember him? Course, Do you know who you're him. speaking to? Everything about that time of my life. It was a roaring twenties for crying out loud. One of the most exciting decades in American history. Just because I've got a few years on most people doesn't mean my brain's turned to tapioca, sweet stuff. Uh, Nancy would never apologize about insulting an old woman, so... Did you spend much time at his place on Moon Lake? Moon Lake. Talk about your fun I think memories. it's Vivian with an A, oh, apple cider. On there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always capped birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. Oh my gosh, speakeasy? Where? It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. Feds never knew about it, but everybody who was anybody on the East Coast back then, actors, musicians, bankers, politicians, they knew. You weren't big time unless you'd made at least one trip to Moon Lake Mickey's. Moon Lake Mickey's, another great name for a gay club. Did this speakeasy have a secret entrance? There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery <gasps> behind the house. You needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, stairs would appear that led to the speakeasy. Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients, concrete and secrecy. The two genders. Bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted the men, and I do believe he was right. But I'll tell you what, if you sent me that picture of me and Mickey, I'll send you my key. The key to the tombstone? You my God, she's just it? been sitting on it. The bottom of my jewelry box. Bottom of my jewelry box. Throwing it out a hundred times, but it's so small, and the memories it brings back are so big. I hope this is how I sound when I'm an elderly woman. Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal. This is the energy I want to bring. Him inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. Do you know anything about the safe that's in the cellar of his house at Moon Lake? You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie's. By Willie, I mean William Akers, one of the guys who worked for Mickey. I don't suppose you happen to know the combination. No one knew the combination, not even Mickey. Mostly because Willie was constantly changing it. He was a little paranoid and superstitious. Well, as I recall, he picked the most unlucky number he could think of and used that for the combination. He called it a reverse jinx. Unlucky number? Like what? Oh, like the date that something bad happened. Like when the stock market crashed, or when somebody died, or the address of a house that caught fire, or the phone number of the police, that sort of thing. 9-11. Cape, <laughs> Cape Dean said it at the same time. <laughs> Got it, 9-11. 
Got it. Okay. Perfect. Do 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 do. All right. Where do we get back over here? Get back over here. Where was that? Safe. Um, okay. Put that down. Leave. Blocked. It looks like a tiny hole. Yeah, well, that that happens. It looks like it's blocked. Blocked by what? A tiny hole. Blocked by what, sis? It's blocked. It's blocked. <laughs> Trying to figure out if Vivian's voice actor was younger than Lonnie, and I can't find her actual age, but her headshot definitely makes me think she's at least a decade younger. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't remember how you do anything about this. I can't. How are you supposed to be able to read that? It's blocked. It looks like a tiny hole. Girl! Should I ask Bess and George for a hint? You gotta poke the hole. I tried poking it with the screwdriver. It looks like a tiny hole. It looks like a tiny hole. Screwdriver too big. Pen? Oh, there you go. What's the combination? Well, there you go. Nine, uh, eleven. Y'all don't want to talk about 9-11. Wait, did that reset it? That may have been the reset button. Yeah, I think that was the reset button. Nine. Three. Boop, 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 boop. Dang it. Speeding. Speeding along. Well. Was that not it? <laughs> oh, the Junior Ranger pin, too. Was it... Uh, one? 1923? Did I write it down wrong? Nope. Nope. What the heck? What is it then? Four, I think it's four. Well, I guess we don't know how many digits because it's this. Because it can be as many digits, I guess. Doop, doop, doop. Stock market crashed on 10 29 Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Uh, can I go back? Maybe I gotta look back at when he was arrested. Well, I thought it was the year he got arrested. That's why I put in 1932, but nothing happened. I thought it was a date as well. I thought that was the date. Man, I was gonna impress y'all. But it probably needs to be like the day, the specific day. So, oh well. Let's see what the specific day was. I'm nothing if not a completionist. No, that's not it. That's the year. January, so is it, oh, one, two, nine, three, two. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Okay. Onwards and upwards. It looks like a tiny hole. Y'all ever see a tiny hole? 
Did you hear about the guy that cryo froze his mother and chopped off her head? But because there was no death recorded on the death certificate because she was frozen just before death, the government was looking for her body to confirm, so they moved the head and hid it, so he probably had his mom's head stored in one of his mate's freezers? You know, I hadn't heard about that. Tiny hole is what they called me in college. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's just reset. Zero. One. Two. Nine. Three. Two. Oh my god, I thought I hadn't done it for a second. Oh god, I do not like the look of those. <laughs> I bet those were deer mice. I better be careful. Oh my god, don't be a coward. Fucking Sheesh, Nancy. What? Little mice gonna hurt you? They're tiny. <laughs> they can't hurt you. This journal is the property of William Akers. Speakeasy. Speakeasy. Y'all want me to read this whole thing, huh? <laughs> Today, Mickey went to prison, but when they were walking him to the paddy wagon, I'm not doing the fun voice, he told me to take care of his dogs, and when the time came to do their tombstones, he t like he told me, then he whispered to me, like, to look under the Victoria Victrola in the speakeasy at Moon Lake. He said I'd find a map to the gold he stole two years ago. Now that's fun. Then they shoved him into the wagon, and that was that. Poor Mickey. How's a guy who never spent a night in jail supposed to spend eight years in prison? He'll never make it. Me, I would be top dog at prison. I would thrive. <laughs> I would thrive. Oh my god. All this. Anyway, looked under the Victoria... Victrola? Victrola? His dogs or his dogs? Both. The problem is, there's nothing on it except a bunch of lines and the words, the dogs will lead the way. There's no X marking the spot or directions or nothing. But I need money back. My wife and baby haven't had anything decent to eat in months, so I'm gonna pack them up and move to Moon Lake permanently. I can spend all my time looking for the gold. That's a that's a good investment, I think. Mickey never told me outright that he was the guy who pulled off the hole in the floor gold heist. He always said the less I knew, the healthier I'd stay. But according to the papers, a bunch of gold was stolen off a moving train. Mickey must agree. Got him to cut a hole, boxcar. After the gold was loaded, one of his boys crawled under the train and pulled himself into the boxcar. I'll be like one of your boys or your homies. Then when the train was moving, he dropped the gold down the hole. Gold in the hole. Mickey's boys picked it up and got away clean. Nobody ever suspected Mickey was behind it. So what I'm looking for is 20 gold bars. The papers said altogether they weighed about 600 pounds. The question is, did Mickey hide them in one place or did he spread them around? He must have buried them, but where? I just thought of something. Maybe Mickey trained his dogs to go go to the gold if you say the right word. I'm going to try saying gold to them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, William Akers. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. I've said every word I can think of to all the dogs, but they haven't led me anywhere except around in circles. Oh, bestie. Bestie, I don't think the gold was for you. I spent the last months following them around. First Sander, then Vitus, then Lucy. I don't have to follow Iggy. I'm gonna write down their names. Xander, Vitus. What fun dog names. Lucy, Iggy. Um, cause all he does is sleep on the porch. So it looks like I'm gonna have to start digging. I'll dig under the porch first, seeing as that's where Iggy always is. That's definitely a clue. Iggy porch. A month ago, I started working as a handyman over in Lewistown to make ends meet, so even though I stopped by Mickey's every day to feed the dogs, I can only look for the gold at night. I dug all around the porch, but didn't find nothing. I marked the porch on the map with Joe a big Akers. eye for Iggy. Emily said Jeff Aker's father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related <laughs> to Akers after all. A baby Joe. Half moon baby Joe. I was so big busy digging Tuesday night that I almost wasn't there when my son was born. We're calling him Joe. His big sister is real happy. She says baby Joe is just like the dolly she's always wanted, but we could never afford to get her. Truth is, we can't really afford Joe neither. I keep writing to Mickey, asking him to please tell me straight out where the gold is, but he never writes back. I'll just have to keep digging. 
Leavenworth Prison. Now isn't that fun? Oh god, more clues. So, oh, last Sunday I memorized the way to the cemetery. It's... good lord. So straightforward. Left, right, right, left, left. I'm not even gonna follow this though, knowing me. Right, left. This is what he was doing instead of getting a job? He was memorizing this path? Left. <laughs> left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Obscene. Obscene. Even though Mickey never allowed the dogs in the speakeasy, I've been looking there for the gold because I looked everywhere else. Last week I found out that Mickey changed the passcode to the spigots in the speakeasy. It's got my hopes up. The way I figured it, why would Mickey change the code without telling me unless he was hiding something? When I finally figured out the new code, I didn't find nothing in the tunnel that opened up that wasn't there before. Why Mickey spent all that money on pictures of those dogs, I'll never understand. I give up. Mickey's dead and so are all his dogs. I'll never find the gold. I got a good job offer over in Harrisburg and I'm gonna take it. Little Joe and Sarah deserve a better life than what they've gotten so far. And it's high time... Callie got a nice house and a husband who doesn't spend all his time chasing after something he can't find. Yeah, probably. But I'm leaving this journal here because who knows? Maybe someday I'll suddenly remember something Mickey said and it'll hit me where he hid the gold. Maybe I'll come back here and find it after all. But in the meantime, I got my family. They're what's important. They're treasure enough. Yeah, but gold would be cool the too. Dogs will lead the way. I wonder what that means. It means that you got to have that dog in you. Get the gold. All right, how do I back away? How do I back away from this? Maybe he just really loved his dogs. And is that a crime? And is that a crime? Did Nancy ever go to school? Oh, Nancy was for sure homeschooled. For sure homeschooled. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Nancy's banging around that cellar. All right, let's go um, accuse the lovely uh, Jeff Akers, who's been nothing but nice to us, of being a Nepo criminal. She did go to the Edgar Allan Poe boarding school. That's true. And she was told to go back to France. I always spin around the longest possible Hello, way. Drew. Am I in for another interrogation? I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll- Was she canonically confirmed sure to go to real school and spy? That game is not canon to me. That game is bananas. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? Oh, there's something here for you from the State Department of Health. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Initial tests found high levels of arsenic. But it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. And I've been guzzling that. Guzzling it. Therefore, the water in your well is unsafe for any purpose. Well, better take a nice long bath in it. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far <laughs> less melodramatic explanation. Bestie, there's arsenic in my water. <laughs> What oh, do you yeah? know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I understand he used to be the deputy here. So? Are you sure you're not related to William Akers? All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. Well, whoops. Did William Akers ever say anything about the cemetery behind Malone's house? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. I apologize for my previous behavior. <laughs> As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times. Don't apologize. That time I failed. <laughs> It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? <laughs> He's a people pleaser and I can relate to that. I see that. Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. 
He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Oh, doggy! Hello again, Miss Drew. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. All right, we need to get the key. Boom. All right, did he... She better do some express shipping to get that key to us. Oh. Oh. Hello again, Miss Drew. Dang it. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. All right. Maybe we should go go nappy nap then. In that case. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. All right, sleep for 24 hours, like the mentally well-adjusted person that we are. And let's go. And let's go. Zoom. Zoom. All right, Mr. Aikas. A package just arrived for you from Las Vegas. Oh, there we go. Great. Vivian sent me the key. I'll dispose of the package. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would we? No, 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 no. Never. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. I also don't trust people who haven't spent at least one full day in bed. Good for the brain and the soul, I think. Is there an official height for Nancy? She gives me six feet. I would say she's definitely on the taller side. Personally, I get more like 5'8 vibes from her. I don't know. Imagine Nancy is just fucking yoked. The reason we've never seen her before is just because she's fucking zoinked. <laughs> Swole. The villains are afraid of her. Left, right, right. Left, left. Right, right. Left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Oh, well, there you go. What do you know? Well, what do you know? Um, where is it? Where is it? Stench? <laughs> Beautiful name for a baby girl. Beautiful name. Marbles? No, not marbles. Marbles gonna live forever. Um, Snooky, rest in peace, Snooky. <laughs> rest in peace, Snooky. It's like I can still hear her voice. All right. How does? I know we gotta change it to. Uh, well, Nancy doesn't know. I remember you need to change it to Baldo. I don't know if Nancy needs to know that. It's probably fine. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Why is my voice cracking like that? Boom. It's too dark. I need a flashlight. And what if I don't? What if I like wandering in the darkness? Oh god. Oh. No, just go for it. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. No. I make my own destiny. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We haven't killed Nancy enough, so, you know, we had to do that. I can't tell if I'm turned around or not. Because it's dark. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. <laughs> it's silly to try to explore this in the dark. Okay. And I agree.
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Slightly nervous. I should definitely save. Have I made a tier list of the best and worst Nancy deaths? No, I haven't. But I know um, Snuggly over on YouTube has made either. She's made a video ranking some of the Nancy Drew deaths. We could definitely do that sometime. There's some really good ones. We haven't seen some of my personal favorites. Curse of Blackmore Ma Ma Manor. I'm talking all kinds of funky ways today. Curse of Blackmore Manor has some of my favorite deaths in the entire franchise. Personally. Do, do, do. Dang it. Dang it. Keep going the wrong way. That. Fine. Right, left, left. Meet, meet. Dang it. Keep going the wrong way. Free me, free me from the suffering. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do you think Nancy's dad would notice if she died? I mean, Nancy's dad is a golf ball. I wouldn't say he's exactly a, a present parent. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It was fun when we were repeatedly beheaded at the Southern Plantation. You know, I forgot about that. Did we... I think we missed the Royal Tower crushed by an elevator, right? I don't think I was able to trigger it. Nice Junior Park Ranger pin. You must Thank you. Really be on Acre's good side. I need flashlight batteries. Do you carry them? Yep. But you know, I've been meaning to make a pretty display out of them packs of combo coal over there for the longest time. Just can't seem to get around to it. I blew up the boat so many times in this game that now whenever I drive a boat for work, I still think about it. I would too. We blew it up several times <laughs> in this game. In other words, you'd like me to give it a shot. Here's the way it should look when you're done. All right, should I... Would it be weird if I held your hand right now? Also those nails. Let's see. All right. Take a picture of this. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So we have to have green all along the side. Yellow and purple, that looks right. That looks right, that looks right. Um, that looks right. This needs to be switched. And then this. Okay, that looks fine. We're making progress, folks, we're making progress. Um, okay. Move up both. They do rotate. They do rotate, folks. OMG um, clicks on the stream when I first got the notification and I got prompted to update and went and got completely distracted. So thank goodness I remembered and caught some before the end. Oh my gosh, dog shampoos. Don't worry, because honestly, the stream was a bit of a disaster <laughs> at the beginning. So you joined at just the right time. Nothing went wrong. Oh, that should go like here, actually. Okay, this. How do you rotate them? Like that. That's how you rotate them. Um, that looks set. There. There we go. And... Yeah. Boom! Smiling goldfish. <laughs> it's obviously never tried combo cola. Oh. I kind of see it. Do y'all see a smiling... Is it giving smiling goldfish to you? This is like a Rorschach test. Are you going to do any weeby stuff in Japan? Ghibli Museum doesn't count. Um, um, we kind of wanted to go to a maid cafe. I feel like we're going to be uncomfortable the entire time, but also I feel like I'll regret it if I don't give it a try. I would say that's pretty weeby. Not <laughs> I know what you are. 
<laughs> we will treat them with the utmost respect, all right? They are professionals. Oh, wait, we need to tell her that we're done. Hey, Nancy. Does mean you got them cans stacked? You bet. They look just like the picture you And we're going because we heard the food is really that. good. Here's your batteries. And thanks, Nancy. There's also um, cafes where you can go and see buff women. And I think you can pay to have them, like, slap you. I don't know if we're going there. We could. I... <laughs> I do know that that exists. Um, don't ask me how I know that that exists. But I know that that exists. A lot of rent a girlfriend in Japan videos are showing up on my YouTube feed. Can you send them my way? <laughs> you, just asking for a friend. Can you put that in the Discord? Yeah, everyone's booking a trip to Japan now. Oh my god, I should go to a ghost, a host club. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Da -na 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 -na. I loved Oron High School Host Club. Let me just say. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Now I'm really acting like a weeb. Uh, left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right, left, left. Right, left, left. Right, right. Left, right, right, left. <laughs> With that rendition, I'm sure you'll do karaoke. Um, I don't have it specifically listed on the itinerary, actually, but we definitely could. To be honest, I don't really know if we're gonna do a lot of the like nightlife type stuff. Just because it's not stuff that I... I mean, karaoke isn't necessarily nightlife. But um, I'm generally not a go-out-to-the-clubs type of person. Oh, I gotta res we gotta reset. Because that was... I doomed it. Not a, a nightlife type of person. I got it so fast the other time, and now I goofed it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, karaoke is quite different in Japan. It would just be you and Dan in a room singing. Yeah, we could definitely try that. I don't know. There's so many things. I tried not to be too strict with our itinerary, because I don't know how long... We're gonna spend at each thing, and also I don't want to be like too strict. And we are there for two weeks, obviously, so we're not rushing around to do things. So I definitely left time to like um, do fun little, like spontaneous stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see if we end up doing karaoke. All right, where are we going? I love getting lost in a tunnel in a Nancy Drew game. Classic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go based on vibes. This feels not right. Oh. And yet, so there it was. The speakeasy. Wow. Wow. Oh, Dog Shampoos, I'm glad you liked the Fifth Harmony video. I've Madison's only watched two animes and I didn't finish either of them. I think that's for the best. I'm not super into anime by any means. Um, Dan's watched more than me, but he's also not like the most intense anime person. Um, he's really into One Piece though. He's He hasn't seen all of One Piece, but he's read all of the manga of, of One Piece. So there'll definitely be some One Piece stuff we can see. Oops, no. And um, Apparently there's a video game called y the Yakuza. And so we are going to we are taking a day trip to a city. I think it's called oh, Fukuyama. He's so cute. He is so cute. We're taking a day trip just to see a city in um <laughs> a video game that Dan likes. So we shall see what that's all about. Is it so good? I genuinely have no idea what it is. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I think I did see him playing it. 
Oh my god, I do love Death Note, Madison. If there's one, well, it's kind of misogynistic, if we're being so honest. <laughs> that part of it doesn't age well, but, you know, famously, I did make an edit to I Can Hear the Bells based on Death Note, so I love it. I really want the Death Note musical to come to America. Um, I listen to the Jeremy Jordan demos of the Death Note musical quite frequently, if I'm being so serious. Um, I'm really sad that that didn't end up happening in the U.S. Give it to me. Show it to me, Rachel, please. Iggy is orange. Doo -doo -doo. Which is uh, his favorite in the series? I didn't know the Yakuza games were a series. I'd have to ask him. Don't know. If math is correct... The tree where Vitus would bark at the hawks used to be right about here. Not Jeremy Jordan, the Supergirl. Fan and me just had flashbacks hearing that man's name. He was everywhere. He was the moment. All right, what color is Vitus? Vitus blue or orange? I thought Iggy was orange. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. No, Iggy's yellow. Vitus or blue? Vitus. Yellow Iggy? We need a Nancy Drew musical? Apparently there is a Nancy Drew musical in the works. I think we talked about it a while ago. And it's... But I was nervous about it because the person writing the lyrics is the same one who wrote the lyrics for Mean Girls. And I famously don't like the lyrics in Mean Girls. Lucy is green. The Death Note musical was successful in the West End, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I watched uh, Mickey Joe Theater's review of it. It wasn't um, the full musical, technically. It was like a, a concert of the musical. So it wasn't... It was just like uh, the songs. There wasn't the scenes Those in between. Spigots, William Akers mentioned and it was like a shortened version, I think, of the full musical. So how do we... The spigot won't move. Won't move? There must be a way to unlock these spigots. Well, let's find out. Well, let's find out. The other anime I sort of watched was Sword Art Online. I don't blame you for not finishing Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online, um, the second half of it is like just a weird arc about the main character's sister wanting to... <laughs> have a romantic relationship with the main character. Uh, it's strange. <laughs> I'll just say, a little strange. But if you die in the game, you die for real. Spigots does sound like a slur the way she says it. Yeah, the second half of Sword Art Online is not it. <laughs> not it. I don't even really remember how it ends. To be honest. Did that do anything? Did that make the spigots move? Oh. There we go. So, red is Xander. No. Do one. Fairy Tale is a pretty great anime. I think that sounds familiar. I don't know if I watched that one. Have we played have we played Grim Fandango? Um I've played it like a really long time ago. We haven't played it on stream though. To be honest, I wasn't that impressed by it when I played it by myself, even though I'd heard a lot of good things about it. It just it felt like a very 90s point and click and like not a fun way, where it's like not very intuitive. But I can give it another chance. It was a long time ago. The art style is cool, though. And conceptually, it's like a, a film noir point and click, but with spooky skeletons. So who doesn't love that? How do I get an X? How do I get an X? 
do do do. How do I get in X? Um, I'm honestly going to move on. All right, what's... Also, why isn't the music playing? Lucy is green, so we need an L. We need to get an L. Okay, that's not an L. I mean, it's an L for me, but not an L in terms of the gameplay. What I need. One, a two, a three. What? Um, hmm. Do, do, do. Let's keep going. I don't know if I really understand the mechanisms of this puzzle. I thought I did, but now I don't think I do. <laughs> uh, which one we need? We need this to be an X. I believe. I mean, we could just keep going and going and going. Oh, okay. Vitus, so we need a blue. Do do do. Oh, bye, cautious meow. I'll, I'll see you in Pride Month. Do 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 do. Oh, okay. Vitus is blue. Lucy is green. So we need an I for this one. Um, do, do, do. Give me I. Okay, there we go. And then we need an L. Oop. Oopy. Come on. Give it to me. Nope. Nope. How many letters are there in this thing? Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! Okay. Where's that? Now where's that? Oh, is it over here? Is it over here? Also, why are there no spooky tunes? What the heck is that? Just me and my own thoughts. And y'all. Hmm. Where'd that open up? Is it here? Do we want to be over here? Oh god, what's the right way to go? Oh god. Oh, okay. Iggy Iggy to Biggie to be a bit the moment the moon the body but dominant by the breath. That's my Iggy Azalea impression. Y'all remember that clip of Iggy Azalea freestyle rapping, but she's just you can't understand a word she's saying, and she goes, I'm a bit of a train. That's exactly what she sounds like. What happened to her? Where's Iggy Azalea? Do we have anything to say about this? No? Oh! Don't touch that. Xander played by the pump, which is right here. Here! And then porch, we already know, right? Alright, that seems to be... 
That seems to be sufficient. What the dog doing? Okay. Okay. Let me take a picture of this so it can line up. Because the other one is the rock. Um, do 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 ghost dogs. What the dog doing? Okay. Be like there. One, two, three. Oh, it doesn't s save. Yeah. Mm, two. Like that. Dang it. So it's kind of like that. 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 Boom! Whoop. That doesn't sound good. They're at one and a half mil? That's so exciting. Ugh. People can be so lovely sometimes. It's some kind of lock. Oh no. It's locked. It's some kind of lock. Bust it open. What? Oh, do we not have a key? You don't have the key? Kind of lock. Stinky. Stinky Nancy doesn't even have a key. What the heck? Alright, well, let's make our way back over, I guess. I missed something. Oh. So you're the ghost dog. Puppies! You pretty real to me. Puppies! Oh, puppies! Oh my god, the one in the back is. <laughs> Look at the one in the back! Who's a good puppy, puppy, puppy? I don't know if I love Lonnie Manella's dog voice. Hey, girl, you're not vicious, are you? No, you're a nice doggy. Hey, boy, who's got you playing ghost, huh? How many of these did they make her record? Hey boy, who's got you playing ghost, huh? Okay. A little condescending to the ghost dogs, if I do say so myself. These dogs have been trained to act vicious on command. Oh my god, they're good puppies. They're good puppies, don't you know? Look who's back! Hot exclusive celebrity gossip. Who's cool? Who's not? Lose 50 pounds in a day and live. That's that's really good to put in a children's game. Yes. Work. Ghost eyes. <laughs> that is Mark Zuckerberg. 11.28, 1 to 3 a.m. 600 feet. Malone.com cameo. Rumor going around the lake that Malone house has been sold. Find gold now! Eddie and Cher, stinky breath, must brush their teeth. Well, at least she's brushing their teeth. Doggy checkup time! Return Titanic to Val's video. Love Titanic. Rumor true, Salem Malone House final. Time for plan D, as in dog. Too cold to drag. Store nets for winter. God, the lesbian's evil? The alleged lesbian's evil? Vet lap reports in all dogs at by extra happy hound hamsticks. New owner moving in in late April. Order electronic whistle speakers transmitter. Gizbo. Tiles on mosaic tunnel. Think Sally McDonald, 27, freelance photographer. Well, she's organized. You can't, you gotta give her that. Malone and his stupid puzzles can take a flying leap. Dogs ready for haunting. <laughs> Dogs ready for haunting. Nancy Drew knows about the gold. Must find before she does. Who is Nancy Drew? Who is she? Oh, Hudsonizer, I can't give a goose cam. Goose isn't here. Don't remind me. Here, let me save. I'll refund you. Goose isn't here. Dan dropped him off. 
I'm real sad about it, but it's okay. He'll be fine. Do 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 do. Goosey may as well be a ghost dog. Don't say that. Don't say that. I could have just put a lump of black clothing and y'all wouldn't have known the difference. Y'all wouldn't have known. You know he's not here because the bed is still made. That's how you know he's still here. Or not here. Aw. He'll have fun. His grandparents are going to take good care of him. I bet the dogs attacked Sally's house because the high frequency signal was transmitted to them through the speaker I saw on the roof. Actually, you know what? Before we finish this game, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to go pee. Is that okay? Is that okay? I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Oh, it's this screen, I think. We'll find out. Oh, I forgot the, whoops. Do, do, do. This is not the vibe, the vibe of the time. All right, okay. Okay, eh. okay, why the frick did Kiss Ross push Will Smith? Okay. 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 Making my way over here. Do I have to do it again? Hold on. Do I have to do I have to do the button thing again? Why the frick did kiss Ross? <laughs> oh, I guess I do have to do it again. Why did I think you were doing a JoJo Siwa impression? It's all the same. Um, uh, dream guest of my podcast. Oh yeah, it was like this, this, this. Yes. Well, yes. I did see that Jojo Siwa is releasing a new song, and it that's not her voice. <laughs> that's like her voice overlaid over an actual singer's voice, right? I'm not really I don't really care that she didn't write it. That doesn't bother me. That's fully not her voice. <laughs> and you can't convince me otherwise, to be honest. <sighs> I 
<laughs> Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never ripped around. There's water in there. Hey, turns out, water in there. It's locked. I'm this close to finding the gold. I just know it. I just know it. Well, good for you, Nancy. Um. Are we missing a wheel? I think we might be missing a wheel. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why they call me a detective. The wheel is spinning, but nothing's happening. Well, let's just open it just for funsies. I don't perceive her or the drama. Maybe that's because I'm 25. I'm 25 too. And I can't escape her. But she does say that... Uh, didn't she say that only people who are like over 25 are bothered by her and everyone younger gets it? Didn't she say something like that? Something along those lines. Oh, we can spin it either counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay, well, at least made a clicking noise. What the heck? It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. How many Nancy's does it take to spin a wheel? What the heck? This is some thrilling puzzles. Ashley did not see my hint. The wheel needs some torque. I gotta have some torque. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. The water doesn't change. But the water doesn't change. Ashley, did you not realize my hint is a legitimate hint? I did. I just thought your hint was saying to spin the other wheels. <laughs> I did. Did you ever think that perhaps I'm just not interpreting your hint correctly? <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't like the phrase, I can backseat harder if you want. <laughs> hee hee hee. Um. Gotta have some torque. <laughs> Sorry, me and my tiny hole can backseat harder. There we go, that's appropriate. Um. Was well, it like a? We need to put the hammer on it or something. It's locked. Sure, you know. Sure. Oh, the wheel is gone. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? Um. Fuck it. Mm, bucket. It's locked. Hmm. The wheel is spinning because you need to affix it better. Hammer. 
The wheel is gone. <laughs> the wheel is gone. The wheel is gone. Girl. <laughs> oh, there's a tiny hole. Nope. Ah. I see. It's locked. It's locked. Boom. There we go. Now it's all... It's still there. <laughs> the water appears to be still there. There we go. There we go. Oh, let's save one more time. Yeah, Hotchkiss needs a vacation. <laughs> Hotchkiss needs a vacation. Really, that's why I'm going. It's locked. I'd better make sure this door is closed all the way before I fool around with anything else. Uh. It's blocked. <laughs> Girl. It's blocked. <laughs> we won't drown again. Um, because the water is empty. This bitch empty. Yeet. Huh? Now it won't open. I was being suspenseful? Well. <laughs> right over this head. It's locked. Girl. Well, open it. Uh my tiny brain. Oh god. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing happened. Don't worry. There we go. Hotchkiss, you were correct. You were correct as per usual. Okay. Chromeister. Oh god. What? Oh god. Uh oh. Is it when the dogs died? I didn't write that down. It's when the dogs died, isn't it? I'm not lo I'm not walking all the way back to see when the dogs died. Not dates. Okay. Oh, is it related to... Is it the Roman numerals right here? Or is that a coincidence? Uh, no, related to the dogs. But did it out. look very familiar. It's not when they died? I understand the colors linked to the collars and stuff. When they were born? Is related to the Roman numerals, but not a date. What did I write down? <laughs> All I know is Igloo died on the porch. Uh, Think about their names. Oh, Xander, Vitus, L, Iggy. What's X in Roman numerals? Um, I 
Let's X V. Well, what which one is Lucy's green? Lucy is green. Um do do do. Lucy's green. Xander is red. L in Roman numerals means 50. I don't like how the numbers... Oh, 50. V in Roman numerals. No, it's X. X in Roman numerals. So let's... Hang on, let's write this down. So green is 50. Lucy... Yes, okay. Xander is red. So red... X in Roman numerals is 10. Blue... V in Roman numerals is 5. And Iggy Iggy too biggy to be my presence. I is one. Okay. This feels hard. Ten, fifty, ten. Oh five. That one changes all on its own. One. Oh, five. Boom. The wheel is gone. <laughs> Nancy, keep it together. Wait, do I not have the wheel with me? I thought I took it. I thought I took it. I'd better make sure this door is closed all the way before I fool around with anything else. Nancy, you are driving me all kinds of bananas. Okay. 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 Slowly making our way over. Big brain. Big brain. With lots of wrinkles. Wrinkly brain. All right. Well, 600 pounds of gold bullion. I could lift wow. it. I could lift it. Wow. Well, nothing to see here. <gasps> hey there, Nancy. No. What on earth have we got here? <gasps> I can't let Emily catch me. Oh no. Me and Emily all alone? Don't you shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. Don't you shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. I can't let Emily catch me. She's just hanging out up there. Oh, bye, Yasri. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Did we live? Oh, no. Did we live? Not the bone bonk. Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? Don't you shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. Oh, down we go. <sighs> Going through the tunnels. Going through the... Wait. Oh, oh, the budget. The budget, mama. There's plenty of gold. <laughs> uh. All right. In my defense, that was actually not in my defense. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? Well, I was trying to close the door and I accidentally went in. <laughs> but never mind. 
First try. Let's go. All right. Don't go in the. Plenty of gold here. Open the door. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Oh. Nancy, wait. Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? Nancy, the gold's all yours, Em. Enjoy it while you can. Boom. Got him. Dear Ned, as soon as I got out of the tunnels, <laughs> Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff. But when I led him back down the well to the room where I left Emily, oh my she refused to leave. He and his deputies finally got her out. <laughs> what is this? That if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. Emily or bear. By the time they took Emily away, the place was swarming with reporters from all over the country. The commotion has scared away every bird for miles. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like to strangle me. On the other hand, when Ranger Akers found out that seven cars and two helicopters were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, he was ecstatic. Tucker Davis finally cleared away that dead tree, which means I'm free to drive home. Fucking Tucker. The lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. Which reminds me, did I mention oh, that those Oh, why is it moving? very sweet. They're so sweet, in fact, that Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's that for irony? Eddie, Meryl, oh, Bruce, and Cher. <laughs> I think I know an Eddie Bruce, Marilyn, and Cher. A little amusement park on the coast. I wish I could say I was having a wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There've been some strange accidents, and the carousel—it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me—I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and I'll call you later. I've got to go. I've gotta Nothing go like right a spooky now. carousel to get Nancy spooked. Nancy Drew. The reveal. The haunted carousel. The haunted carousel coming soon. Yes. Boom. We did 